So that is it. That is the gadget um, animation that I, I literally blocked out in rough. It took me about eight o'clock to two o'clock, about four, four hours to scribble that out. And now another four hours to tie it down and tidy it up. Um, so overall, that's about eight hours work. So that would have been a day's worth of work if I was in a studio and it would have been one of the highlights of the film. Remember when we did the whole Glen Keane aerial thing, right? The Glen Keane way is really effective for doing these more cartoony human anatomy things. So the whole human thing is like these two halves of the body, right? This represents the, the hip bones, right? Then in hair, the belly button's hair, right? This is the rib cage. This is going to be the clavicle portion and the chest hair, right? Right. If it's a woman, it'll be like that. Right. And then from here, you have the the legs. Right. So legs are going to be. Kind of like this. Right. The layout here. Right. Is we've got like this kind of like. I was looking at the intro and there was a scene where Chip kind of was sliding down a, a rope. So I said, I'll take that and just run with it with with gadget right so this is kind of an up angle that i've got here and the first drawing is always going to be among the weakest so i may have to come i may i already see where the animation needs to be revised so already i've made her legs way too long here right so i'm gonna kind of like so this is kind of like an up angle so i'm gonna just kind of like see so if if we want to take this box here, let's use this opportunity. So we want to take this pelvic box here like this, right? As I explained to you. And then the legs are going to be kind of like coming down at us from here like this. Now I'm going to put her feet there because I'm going to want to move her, right? Slightly. I'm going to jig this drawing around so I can get her proportions a little bit more as they should be. All right. So we've got a nice stretch pose going on from squash to stretch. So here I, I can start sticking more to the conventional angle because although we're looking up at the character, right? We've got the hips there like this. It's like a bouncing ball. The usual ball squashes, stretches into the bounce and it's coming up over like this. So now, I'm going to be moving away from uh, using light box and I'm going to be referring to my little roughs as well as, you know. So here we're going to be looking at that pelvis shape, right? Like this. And we're going to be putting a little bit of torque and twist in the body, right? So this leg is going to be coming up and this leg is going to be bending in. And the thing that really sets his um, archive, his online, to, you know, lectures and stuff apart from everyone else is the basics. That's the one thing that a lot of the books, a lot of the online animation stuff lack was the extreme basics. So now we're going to do an up angle, right? So we want to kind of figure out that middle line and going to figure out the nose, right? The nose is going to be here. And we're going to put a little mark there. I'm going to open her mouth. Give her a bottom lip. Give her her little tooth. Tongue there like that. Let's open that. Let's have her eyes looking down. We're going to change her personality when she hits the ground. She's going to be a lot more determined and a lot more kind of aggressive. She's a humanoid quadruped that is going to be running on all fours 
like a mouse, but really the way a human would, because her feet are more like human feet, right? So we've got her collar in here. Her belt is going to be in here like this. Now the tail. I've got a, I've got to kind of whip that tail through. Bum, 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 bum. That'll help us to kind of cut. So the bean body is like this. Look at the seesaw effect in the body, right? So this way, right? So now it's kind of going this way like this. So I've got the the middle point. So you can see how the squash and stretch is happening as she's bringing her coming in to bring her legs down, right? You're going to see we're going to push it even more. We're going to do more crazy stuff with the camera. So, you know, there's a lot more to this than just what you're seeing here. I'm going to have her change. The camera is going to rotate to her front view. And that is going to be our next edit point. So our first edit point was when she was coming down the rope, right? And she jumped off the rope. And then we change the camera angle into profile view. Now look what I do here. I'm going to change the angle of this. So we've got this hand behind. And then I'm going to do this. And now this hand is in front. You see the illusion of perspective that we have going on in here. Like that. So this is going to be the edit point where we're going to do some front view stuff but I can talk you through how I'm solving this head over the heels thing right so we've got the back of the character and we're introducing the legs one leg is gonna be up like this and another leg is gonna be on the side like this right we're gonna start putting in the tail right coming behind notice how they're big kind of swooping arc curve shapes right and then the, some of her hair is going to be like this kind of shape here. Right, so we've got the leg shape continuing, like right? So we're keeping this leg shape here like that. And the character is getting smaller, right? So we can pull off the cheat even better because we're not, you know, the character is moving away from us. The hair is going to kind of whoosh through, right? on the other side of her. Right, so I'm just going to put the tail behind her hair there like that. She's here, she swings down, she scampers, she scampers, and then she does a little roll, right? Scamper, scamper, roll. So you can really see how the, the constant moving and the cheating, we can really get away with it. Right? It does take skill to be able to do it, but I'm doing a lot of cheating here. And the constant moving is helping it. We've got the weight on this side of her pelvis. So we've got a little bit of a lean on that. right? But then we're being quite straight with that pose. Right, right now we're going to start with the run so she's coming up off the ground and she's hitting a run right so here I've got the hip this way and the body this way so there's a bit of torque happening in the character here like this right but then we have the we have the character this leg coming forward, right? And then this leg will be, you know, in the push-off pose. So again, here, what I'm going to do with this drawing is, is as we're going to come up here, right? Here, the hip is like this, right? But it's going to be kind of leveling up a little bit. But remember in the front run we're going to push to the get this figure of eight in the arc from the from square on so we got to kind of think about things like that but i also want to have the torque going on in the torso right um 
I'll stick my neck out. I saw a clip of... I haven't seen the Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie, right? Haven't seen it. But I saw a clip yesterday on YouTube when I was looking at Rescue Rangers to see if I could see anything uh, to help me get used to the model, right? And I saw a clip of the, the new gadget, and I think she's done with CG or something. And I'll stick my neck out and say that this little play that I've had, right, on a live stream is leagues ahead of what's in that movie, right? Leagues ahead of what you're going to see in that movie. So that is it. That is the gadget um, animation that I, I literally blocked out in rough. It took me about... 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock, about four, 4 hours to scribble that out and now another 4 hours to tie it down and tidy it up. Um, so overall that's about 8 hours work. So that would have been a day's worth of work if I was in a studio and it would have been one of the highlights of the film. right? I would probably then time that out and give that to uh, an assistant. And with each exercise, it builds up on each other. And as a result, I start s seeing, you know, the arcs. I start understanding and timing things in my head. And it was just so fascinating. And because of that, it just helped revive, you know, my lifelong desire of learning animation. And it just made me so happy that I'm able to pursue and to dream of becoming an animator. Oh, thank you. So, are you going to join the library? <laughs>